Homemade chemicals linked to cancer and other health problems are being discovered at dangerous levels in some of the valley's water supplies. The latest reports from cities like Gilbert and Avondale are the result out of uh, federally, uh, federally mandated testing being conducted across the state. Joe Dana has the latest on the search and removal of these so-called forever chemicals from our groundwater. We are getting a clearer picture of the underground sources around Arizona where forever chemicals are most concentrated. From east to west, Gilbert to Goodyear, a new summary of federal data produced by USA Today shows where PFAS chemicals have the highest readings. Wells in cities like Santan Valley, Gilbert, Avondale, and Goodyear have annual averages up to three times higher than the EPA limit. A lot of it is unpredictable. Trevor Bajori is in charge of water for the State Department of Environmental Quality. The agency has been testing aquifers and wells since 2022. More results show wells marked in red where forever chemicals also exceed federal limits. If someone sees their city as exceeding levels, what should they do? The first thing I would do is, if you're concerned about it, is reach out to your water system to find out what actions they are taking. PFAS chemicals have been around decades, found in everything from firefighter foam, clothes, appliances, and food packaging. The chemicals leak into groundwater supplies. Long-term exposure causes health problems like decreased fertility, weakened immune systems, and cancer. Around military installations where they have used certain types of firefighting foams, there are certainly elevated levels of PFAS. And then we have some areas where there's really nothing nearby. Forever chemicals in water near an Air Force base in Colorado Springs led to a lawsuit and construction of an entirely new water treatment facility. Bagiori says some water suppliers are already in various stages of improvements. Cities and water companies have until 2029 to be in full compliance. Some cases, it's as simple as shutting off a well while that well is being addressed. Getting dangerous chemicals out of the water we use every day. A crackdown that many say is long overdue. There are filters out there you can buy to reduce forever chemicals in your home's water. We have a guide to that right now at 12news.com. Joe Dana, 12 News. Coming up.